Hello friends, I am Dr. Saurabh Mittal. So in this session, I will discuss an important topic called animations in Tableau. So many of you who have done some uh, basic course on Tableau, you might have created some exciting visualizations, some bar chart, pie charts, probably some dashboards also you might have created. But this exciting topic of animations that may not be known to many of you. So let us uh, quickly use a Tableau and understand how to apply animations here. So friends, let us come to the Tableau software. And here we have the option of connecting to any data file. So right now I am connecting to an Excel file. This simple superstore data set is uh, freely available in Tableau and it is uh, supplied by Tableau company for your own practice. So let us use this one only. But the technique that I'm talking about uh, that can be applied on any of the data set that you might be having. So right now we are having uh, certain sheets. You can notice that on the left hand pane, there are three sheets mentioned, people, return and sample superstore one. So I can uh, simply drag the sheet of sample superstore one onto my Tableau environment. And you can notice that there are 21 fields and 9,994 rows. Right. So this is the data that we have captured from sample superstore data set. And now it is a time to move to the sheet. Here you can notice that on the left hand uh, pane, there are certain attributes of your data that have been mentioned, like uh, category, city, country, customer ID, and so on. And then we have certain measures. You can notice that. Uh, discount is given profit quantity sales that all is given suppose we want to apply filters and animations on category by sales so we can select the category field and then using control key we can also select sales let us also select profit so these are the three attributes of my data set that i want to use category profit and sales and now it is a time to add that into our work area. So if you simply drag this data, so automatically Tableau will try to sense and it will show me some basic information. You can notice that it is showing you some tabular format data. So you can notice furniture, office supplies and technology. So that these are the three columns that have been created. If we want to use uh, maybe some charts so you can go to the show me tab on the right hand side and here we have the option of maybe a scatter plot or maybe a bar chart so any any of them you can use so right now it is showing you two bar charts so first one is talking about profit the second one is talking about sales so uh, many of you might be um, thinking that uh, this is quite a simple uh, bar chart nothing special about it can we convert it into a dual access chart so yes uh, we have the option so you go to the columns field here and you can select the sales and uh, you can click on this drop down we have the option of dual access here so friends right now it is showing you dual access chart if you want to see it in the full screen, how it will be shown. Okay, so you can notice that uh, profit and sales statement for the three categories it is being shown. Okay, so I can maybe go to the normal view. So this is my data being shown. Now, if you want to exchange these uh, both of uh, rows and columns attributes, so that can be done. So in Tableau, you have the option of switching, right? So if you click on this, you can notice that uh, furniture, office, technology products, so all that is being shown. If you want to change maybe this category, I don't want to show, I want to show the subcategory information so that finer details are available. So you can notice now your graphic is little bigger and you'll be able to visualize your data much better. If I go to the full screen mode, 
you can notice for all the products there is certain information about the profit and sales if you want to use the labels that can also be done but if i add the labels here it is going to be a little uh, clumsy if i select this profit into labels so you can notice uh, there are lots of dots lots of marks are there and uh, it may not be looking so nice so we can drop it for now now let us understand how to use uh, animations so we may be interested in showing how the trend has been for these subcategories of products as far as uh, we talk about the profit and sales right so what we can do we can select this order date order date is uh, available with us in the data set and we can drag it to the pages pane so we have uh, one box here where we can drop order date okay so you have dropped the order date here and right now it is saying the order date and it has automatically detected the data type that is year and uh, because the data type is year so what will happen on the right hand side you will see that there is a control window that has been given to you on the right hand side if there are certain buttons which are uh, familiar to us like a stop button is there then play button is there and then a reverse button is there so friends right now my chart is showing 2016 aggregate information and if you use the play button what will happen so right now it is showing you 2016 if you go to play button then it will show you 17 18 and 19 so these are the four years for which we had the information so we have only four years so the animation was very brief what we can do we can go to this pages pane and we can go to this uh, drop down and here we have the option of year quarter month and day if you remember if i change from year to quarter what will happen it will be calculating quarter one two three four only four quarters are there right so it will not go one by one quarter right so what we can do friends we can select this option of month and year right so you can notice on the right hand side also that it is now starting with the january 2016 and it will be going up to december 2019 right so this will make my visualization quite interesting if we play this you can notice on the visualization that every month how the sales are happening that is being showcased okay so there are certain animations happening if you want to uh, reduce the speed or increase the speed there are three controls given here on the right hand side itself so the third option will make the animation quite fast If you want to change the sphere visualization that can also be done you can click on you can stop this animation go to show me tab and now we have the option of these uh, line charts right so these line charts can also be revised probably i want to make them dual axis and uh, right now it is showing you lots of information i don't want to show that all I want to only show the information about probably category wise information only the category wise information should be shown to me so right now it is showing you the sales information that there are three categories only right and we are having the information about their sales trend and that is showing month on month basis and for the animation what we need to do we can drag the order date here and right now you can see on your screen and uh, it is 2016 so i want to change it to month of the year so we can go to custom we can also use month of the year from here so again it will be showing you only three only for a month and now we can play this you can notice that the overall sales of three category of products is being shown now 
So it is totally up to you whether you want to show only one attribute or you want to show multiple attributes. In case of sales and profit, uh, there will be more dots on your screen that may not be so interesting for you. Okay, one more small change that I can uh, share with you uh, that we can show the trail, right? How the activity was happening. So friends, you can select this checkbox, right? And uh, here is the option of show history. So what I want to show, I, I want to show all the data, right? And uh, if I play this button now, so we'll be able to show important aspects of our data set. So what has happened? It has changed the view. So this order date I want to show only in pages. Let us try to see it again. And on the right hand side, as I said, that you can control the speed of your data. So that can also be done. And then there are option of quickly moving through, right? So if you look at uh, look at this in the presentation mode, this is how your visual will look like. Okay, so this is the animation with the help of cards. You can try this one and uh, in the next video, I will show you some more animations in Tableau. That's all for now.